Philips Momentum 559 Lone RYV delivers an excellent jumbo screen experience for gaming and entertainment. Its only flaw is a weak overdrive, but with a vivid picture, carrot color, color HDR, top quality sound, and ambi glow, it has some worthwhile advantages over. The Philips Momentum 559 Lone RYV is a beast, both in size and features. Its 55-inch 4K or UHD VA panel sports a 144HD refresh rate, adaptive sync, HDR, extended color, and a 1200 nit. It also includes a slick bias light feature, and as one of the first monitors released under Microsoft's Design for Xbox Partner program, is optimized for the latest Xbox console. Jumbo panels blur the lines between computer monitors and televisions. If you stick with a TV, you can enjoy a cheaper but potentially less feature-rich big screen experience. But if you get a jumbo monitor, you're more likely to get additional features like a fast refresh rate, display port connectivity, and adaptive sync. Either way, there's nothing like gaming on a huge display. Something that the Philips Momentum 559 Lone RYV easily demonstrates. Philips probably isn't the first name you think of when it comes to gaming monitors, but it makes some very capable display products. There are currently two 55-inch displays in its jumbo category. The Momentum 558 Mon RY we reviewed earlier this year and its Xbox certified cousin, the Momentum 559 Mon RY V we're testing here. Both use VA panels running at a 4K resolution with display HDR 1000, extended color, and adaptive. The 559 Mon RY V VA panel is rated for 4000, one contrast natively. We measured slightly higher numbers in our tests and very impressive results for HDR. A 1200 net foul backlight with 144 dimming zones helps broaden dynamic range with HDR contrast that tops 200,000. One, as confirmed by our tests, there's also a wide color gamut which covers over 90% of the DCI-P3 co that color is accurate. Two, and you can easily enjoy the 559 Lone RYV without calibration if you like. The 559 Lone RYV arrives in a large TV style box that's held shut by plastic. Take them out, and the top lifts off to reveal an assembled display with a stand and sound bar already in place. It's just a plug and play affair. Simply insert the V enclosed IC power cord into your wall. You also get one USB C port, four USB A ports, a single USB B connection, display port, and four large lugs provide the means to attach aftermarket brackets to the 200 VS amount once you remove the stand. And, of course, there's the all-important remote. Since this monitor might as well be a TV, you'll want it to control all your monitor functions. The 559 Mon RYV is styled a bit like a vintage television vintage 2000s, that is. True, it sports the thin flush bezel found on most LCDs today and has matte black plastic across it, but there is brushed metal surrounding the edge that sets this monitor apart from other brands. The base is also metal with a fine pebble grain finish. The soundbar is suspended between the panel and base and is covered with coarse woven fabric. In back, you can see Philips Ambiglow LED around the top and sides. Again, be shine light behind your screen to provide either extra contrast or extra gaming atmosphere. They are not covered by diffusers, so they can shine very brightly if desired. In addition to having a multitude of colors and effects, they can also serve as a built-in bias light. This is a feature that no other brand offers in their monitors. A bias light can improve your perception of contrast and sharpness by closing the eye's iris. When properly configured, the effect is not only pleasing, but it reduces eye fatigue. The Ambiglow menu has a vast number of options for colors and effects. You can have the lights change according to video content, audio or both. You can also set one color to consistently shift, wave or breathe. Alternately, you can select a static color, including a special Xbox green, to use Ambiglow as a bias light. Choose white in a brightness level that's around 10% of the screen's peak bright. If you calibrate to 200 nits, Use the lowest setting for Ambiglow. The light reflecting from the wall behind will increase the user's perception of contrast and sharpness. This is a process backed by science and is a feature commonly used in professional video editing suites. It's also great for home entertainment when watching or playing in darkened rooms. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.